Hey friends, it is Michelle Bowman with EXP Realty here and I am bringing a money saving tip for the day. I was thinking after I had said that yesterday about um, doing a money saving tip every day. I don't think I can do it every day. Um, but I will maybe create a playlist for money saving tips and consistently be uploading money saving tips into that playlist. Um, the money saving tip that I wanted to share today is about lunches and how you can save money by brown bagging your lunch, taking your lunch to work rather than always going out and grabbing lunch. Um, so we brown bag our lunch almost every day. Um, I, I would even go so far as to say it is very rare that we do not brown bag our lunch and I'm not saving to buy a house. I'm just, I just want to control my food and I want to not spend so much extra money. Um, we went to McDonald's and if you were to go to McDonald's, which that's a whole nother wellness video there. But if you wanted to go to McDonald's and eat lunch, even off of their, um, their value menu, you're still spending $7 a day. So $7 a day times five days, that's $35. So let's do $7 a day times 20 days. That's $140. And that's just the value menu that is in need of much nutrition. Um, if you was to go and get something, um, you know, better, I mean, let's just say you went to a restaurant and did a salad. I think the average salad cost is about, uh, let's do $11. So $11 a day times five days at $55. And then let's do it times 20 days. That's $220 a month that you would save. Do you know what kind of salad you can make for yourself and take to work and and save all that money oh my goodness so my money saving tip for today is invest in your nutrition and brown bag your lunch and you're going to save a lot of money and time i mean money is just at the you know at the window or at the register let's talk about the gas that you're going to save because you're not driving to get your lunch every day the time that you're going to save because you're not spending the time to have to leave, go get your lunch. So if you take a one hour lunch and you've got to go 10 minutes down the street, you're not getting your full hours lunch because you've got all that commute time. So you're saving time there. So bringing your lunch to work is a great money saving tip. All right. If you guys have any money saving tips that you want me to dig into, share them in the comments. This is a great resource for people that are saving to buy a home. But what if you're saving for something else? Maybe you're saving for a trip or a remodel or an addition. These are saving tips that you can implement for that also. All right. It's Friday afternoon. You guys have a great weekend. This is Michelle Bowman with EXP Realty. And I'll talk to you soon. Y'all take care.